Bitch about the price, Chris. This price is ridiculous. Um, you know what, Chris? We hear that a lot. And the fact that you say it means that you're normal. Um, other than the price, though, everything else is cool. Nothing else stops you from taking this Super Duty home, correct? Well, that's correct. Okay. How would a price of maybe four or five grand less sound to you? I would sign right now. Okay. Well, look, that would not be a problem. However, you told me. Now I'm going to go through the equipment that he told me was important. You told me leather was a must, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you told me, what else? Feed, feed me. Navigation. You told me navigation was a must. I take a lot of trips. Sunroof. You said a sunroof you would use frequently. Yep. Heated seats. He said, you said based on where we live, the heated seats were a must have. Yep. Power boards. Um, the power boards. Yep, my wife needs them. Okay. Look, um, I'm not going to take the truck of your dreams away from you. Five grand less gets you a truck without all the things I just mentioned, okay? But it's really not even that, because when you go to trade or sell this car three, four, five, six years from now, you're going to get a big chunk of all that five grand back because of the equipment. So let's say you get 50% of it back, all right? So now we're looking at 2,500. Do me a favor. Take 2,500 and divide it by 72 for me. Thirty-four seventy. Divide that by thirty. Buck. You gonna let a buck a day stand in the way of you taking this super duty home today? <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay, this right here. Which leads right into the reduced to the ridiculous. Which leads, I mean, the reduced to the ridiculous has been around since, uh, you know, since the time of Christ. Okay, it is still a very powerful close. Now. What's easier to say yes to? 67,350 or 5,000? 5,000. What's easier to say yes to? 5,000 or 2,500? 2,500. What's easier to say yes to? 2,500 or 34? 34 or a dollar. By the way, is the math correct? It's absolutely correct. Okay? Look, do customers sometimes need a little bit of help saying yes? Yes. Yes, they do. That's why you make the big bucks. That's why you're going to make the big bucks. That's why you're going to make the big bucks. That's why you're making the big bucks. That's why you're making the big bucks. Our job is to help people make major financial decisions. Look, if they don't buy a truck here, they're going to buy it somewhere else. Are they going to find a better dealership than this one? No. Are they going to find a better salesman than you? No way. No. Thanks. Good. Good answer. Good answer. So we have to help them make a decision. Do it, I mean, I'm, I'm huge into mathematics. By the way, all this extra equipment that's coming on this vehicle, when they trade the vehicle, they're gonna get part of that back, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They use that all the time. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm stunned that more salespeople don't use that. They forget there is a residual. A moonroof makes a vehicle worth more than a, the same vehicle with, without a moonroof. Leather, heated seats, I mean, better wheels, all those things make the vehicle more valuable. <coughs> so use the premium equipment, whether it's a new or used vehicle, then reduce to the ridiculous. Don't forget the residual amount. All right? 